In this video, we're going to show you how to connect a third-party camera to our NVRs. It could be, let's say, a QC camera in this case. Um, so when you have a monitor connected via HDMI or VGA to your NVR, you'll see this grid screen. If you right-click and click Main Menu, it'll ask you to log in. And here's the login password. Granted, you have not changed the login password on the NVR. When you get the NVR, there is a, a label on top of it that tells you what the password is to log into the NVR. Please do not change these admin credentials because it will just cause more issues. And if you're not forthcoming about that you change them, it makes it hard for us to support you. Once you've logged into the main menu, you would go to the camera section here. And this tells you what is connected to the camera, what uh, to the NVR, what cameras are connected to the NVR. So now my password on this NVR is 10i capital L T X Y H. That's the admin password. It's different from what the camera has, and that's what's happening with a lot of QC products because customers have different passwords. No NVR is going to be truly plug and play unless you know the password on the camera. This NVR happens to be compatible with the QC series, the letter Q, the letter C series from QC, the manufacturer. So when you connect a camera to the back, I'm going to connect one camera, for example, right now into the PoE ports on the back of the NVR. Here's what the PoE ports look like. Look in the top right hand sides of the screen and you'll see a little picture that shows you which are the PoE ports and which one's the LAN port. The group ports are the PoE ports. They are plug and play with QC products as long as you know your password on the cameras and they're compatible again with the letter Q, letter C series of the QC products. So I've connected a camera and well it's not appearing so why? Let's go to main menu, camera, hit search device. It actually found the camera automatically because it happens to be the 10.1.1.65 IP address. That's the IP address of the internal network switch. And I'm going to hit click and add the camera. This status light here tells you if it's connecting or not. If it's red, that means the camera is not connected. Sometimes you can right click, exit out of the menu, and try to come back in. Some NVRs may say here wrong password, or they may give you this sort of screen here that is just telling you to put in a correct password. So now it's giving me all these sorts of different uh, errors because it's not recognizing the camera that's connected while it is compatible. So here's how you have to solve that issue. Main menu, camera, edit here, and then type in the password of the cameras that you know is for the QC products. So here, my password is ADMIN123, and I hit OK. And I'm going to wait a few seconds and it turned green. That meant the NVR was granted access into the camera. The camera has to grant access to an NVR or a user to connect. If you don't know the password for your cameras, then you can't connect to it. And that requires further troubleshooting using our paid support help. So here, I'm going to go back to the main menu, and here's the camera. So the camera's working as long as you connect to it using the password that is for that camera. So some cameras may have a password that you don't know about. How do you go solve that? You need a PoE injector and some troubleshooting paid help that we do offer. And with those two combined, you can use our assistance to go and figure out what's the password on those cameras. Unfortunately, there's no magic reset password for QC cameras, and we have no idea what they're using for their uh, default passwords. That's a responsibility you need to have to ensure that you know how to troubleshoot that before you buy a product from us and after you receive it and how to connect to it. There's nothing wrong with the NVRs. It's just a password credential issue. And the main menu, the password issue menu that I just showed you before, I'm going to delete the camera. Depending on the firmware of your NVR, also, it may be very different uh, between the firmware on the NVRs, what you see in the grid screen when you can't connect to a camera. Some firmware may display this, some may just say wrong password. So that means you need to fix that password issue. The other thing you need to ensure that your cameras are on a 10.1.1 network. If you go to network here and under switch, this is the IP address of the network inside the NVR's PoE switch. Please do not change this because this will just cause more issues. If you're trying to change the, the IP address on your NVR, go here, 
and then you can change the IP address from this TCP IP section. If you don't know what IP addresses are, then hit simply modify DHCP, hit OK, and this will automatically acquire, and I hit apply of course, this will automatically acquire an IP address. I'm gonna right click and exit out, go back into network, and I'm gonna, of course my um, NVR right now doesn't have a cable plugged in, so I'm gonna connect a network cable. If you don't have a proper network cable or you're not connected to a router that has DHCP enabled on it, you're just gonna continue to see 0.0.0. .0. Once you connect a proper network cable that works, to a router that has DHCP enabled. Then if you right click and go back, you will see an IP address on the NVR. And that means it's got an IP address. And then you can go and enable P2P services like I have here. You can disable, enable, and this lets you connect to the NVR by scanning the serial code that's to the right into our app. That's pretty much, this provides a good general overview of what to expect when trying to use the letter Q, letter C series cameras from QC. Thanks for watching.